So let's go offense to MVP. Who you have? Who do you have? Ooh. Now, this is going to be interesting. What, Can you, I do that? No, no, no. Which one? You can put both. a name on it. No, put a name on it. No, I knew you was going to try to court. That's why I was like, starting offense MVP. Uh-uh. Put a name on it. Who's your MVP? And drop it in the comment section too. Who's your MVP for the offense? All right. Offense MVP. A singular name, not a position group. Come on, Come on. man. Come on, that's who my you answer. got? No, the quarterback. who you got, man? The quarterback. Huh? Which the one? Combo of Fields no. and Russ. Uh-uh. Which one is your guy, man? Uh, you what? Well, I might Fields. not be picking quarterback then. You got Fields. You got Russ. Wh- which one you like? You got Cal Allen. He got a snap in there too. He got a nice completion too. I, I just gotta go with the overall quarterback. Oh man. Uh uh-uh, uh uh. You be trying to just. just mm, that's the cop out. No no no. Put a name on it. Put, put, sign, seal, deliver. You even asked me who my most disappointed player was. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> You made the category. Unfortunately, I did. Actually, I did not. Still, his depot made the category. Shout out to them. All right. You're making me pick a name? Yeah. I mean, my, my pick is the quarterback, the combo. But of which Russ one? And Fields. Which one has been more MVP to you? Russ has only played two games. So, are you saying Justin Fields is your MVP? I might have to for the first half of the season. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, that's I what we're saying. To. Think about it. We're we not saying Mason, or, uh, Mason McCormick is the best rookie. Because he played in a couple of games. Nah, we saying the guy who played in more of them. That's what you said, Frazier. That's what you said. So one guy's played in. Other guy's played in. Because if it was two weeks ago and you asked me this, I would have said Fields definitively. Okay. Definitively. Because I think he was the most consistent thing we had going on offense. He was a leader. He was elevating the offense whenever we were getting penalties and having a bunch of negative plays mm-hmm. and doing stupid stuff. I thought he was the most consistent thing we had got. Pickens doing picking stuff. It was Fields. Steel, Fields okay. was the steady guy and was elevating the offense at times. Uh, that's the thing, though. I, I can't unsee these last two games. Okay. <laughs> Russ. Bosnum uh, get no love Russ either? Russ has been out. Bosnum uh, scored more than all of them. Bosnum uh, get no love? Yeah, it's special teams. I'll give him special teams. <laughs> MVP. Let's go. <laughs> special teams MVP. Uh, uh, this is tough, man. This is tough because now people are trying to say Najee, but you have to remember Najee's first five games, it's not like mm-hmm. he was doing anything crazy. And then if you want to talk about his last few, mm-hmm. I'd point to some of the quarterback play and what Russ has been doing as to why things are opening up for Najee. Like that's if you're talking about most valuable, mm-hmm. most valuable player, like I think that's why I want my, I really want my answer just to be the quarterback, Fields and Russ. Come on, combined. man, pick one though, man. Well, like, I gotta go with Fields. I'll, okay, I'll so Fields, Fields your guy. I'll go All with right. Fields because okay. he got us four and two for the first six games. Wasn't expected to be the starter. The, the two losses, I wouldn't even put on him like that. I mean, yeah. could have played better, sure, but it wasn't his fault that the offense was sputtering. There was a lot of penalties, a lot of stupid stuff that we were doing, yeah. uh, negative plays, some eh, some questionable play calling at times. For sure. So I, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Fields. I think yeah, I think I'm going with Fields as my I like it. offensive MVP. I like it. Um, for me, man. Oh, I ain't gonna cut y'all. You- no, nah, I think that's it. I'm, yeah, right. I, my answer really is just the quarterback. <laughs> Pick one. Yeah, now, yeah. If you're making me pick one, I'll go Fields. I pick one. <clears throat> it's gonna be Russ for the second half. You already just predetermined it's gonna yeah. be Russ. Yeah, it's gonna be Russ. Whoever plays quarterback is always MVP. No, it's just I see how he's playing. He's blowing out. For sure. I like it, man. For me, um, I'm going with Nash. Uh, I know you said that Justin Fields was the most consistent. I personally thought that Najee was just as consistent. In some cases, I thought he was more consistent. Um. But I thought that for Naj, man, I thought that he showed multiple things. Um, number one, once again, this is another season where he's had how many different combinations of guys blocking for him, right? We talked about the different dynamic of a Justin Fields at quarterback and how we felt that meant or what that meant for us at wide receiver versus Russ being here. Now we don't feel like it's as pressing at wide receiver. But the one thing that was still constant through all of that has been Naj. Now has Naj production increased with Russ? Yes, and that's a testament to Russ's ability to actually take advantage. When you go back and look, anytime the Giants tried to create this single high look to offset Najee, that's when Russ did what we've been asking since Ben to do consistently. Take advantage of the single high look. And now you're getting it, these past couple of games specifically, where teams 
can't just dial in on him. To me, as much as I look at that as a tip of the cap to Russ, I also look at that as a little bit of a knock on Fields. I think of how with Russ, though, he's only played in two games. So I'm like, as much as I love that and I love what I've seen, I would love to crown it and say, yo, that's the guy. It's only been two weeks. With Naj, Naj had to do it with Fields, with Russ. He's had to do it with... Like I said, the different combinational offense lines that to do it with GP being the only guy to make a play at receiver versus past two weeks, multiple guys out there making plays at receiver. He blocks. We didn't see him catch. We didn't see him have the explosive plays that we've all been like wanting to have him make throughout his career here at Pittsburgh. We are finally getting him. And he's touching pink multiple times in the ball security still continues to hold true and his availability as well, man, in comparison to some of the other guys. I mean, yeah. with Russ, man, Russ been out since the condition. Oh, even the other running yeah. backs too. Yeah, so that's my thing with Naj. I'm just like, I feel like through all of that, to me, he's been the constant and not trying to be negative on GP, but I don't have to deal with like some of the maturity type stuff either. I feel like with Naj, it's consistent. Like, yo, I'm going to show up. I'm going to say the right things. I'm going to do the right things. I'm going to, you know what I mean? Like, and he still pays with a ton of passion too, but it's not reckless. It's not borderline. Like, bro, what are you trying to do here? Well, you talk about GP doing GP stuff. It's like, I don't get that with Naj. So that's why I say for me, I'm going with Naj on that one, man. It's not a bad pick. Shout out to the dudes though, man. Shout out to the dudes. I think, I think I'd lean more. Like if there was an offensive player of the year, I think I'd lean more on Najee for that just because of the to separate the two the overall stat yeah because value it's just I mean Fields it, Fields and Ross with it, mm-hmm. it, like none of Najee stuff matters if you're not getting that quarterback play it's it's the most important yeah. position and the flip side is both of those dudes would struggle mightily if you took Najee's production off the field I don't know I, I think they get it done just fine with Jalen Warren or Patterson but the problem is and that's why you got to credit Najee that's why I don't think it's a bad pick for the first half of the season either is because he at least has been yeah. out there. I was going to say, we can throw out the names, but if they're not available... Yeah, because there's been times, though, in the away. offense, yeah. we, even in this season, I mean, it, it's been in past seasons, too, mm-hmm. where Najee hasn't looked like the best running back out there. But... The full body of work, each and but every yeah, year, though. Patterson gets hurt in that game where he's lighting it up, mm-hmm. and, you know, Jalen Warren's been in and out of the lineup yeah. this whole season. So, yeah, I mean, Najee... He he deserves to be in the conversation. No, there's no doubt. Like I don't even think it's no, bad. No, I'm with you on that. I don't and, think it's bad. And everybody's pick. gonna have like when we're talking MVP, especially because we all would agree that quarterback is the most valuable position. That's why it's paid the most. That's why it's drafted the highest in the first round most more times than any other position. But with that, I still to me. I can compartmentalize it in the sense of yes, I know your overall value is this, but if your overall production isn't more than that like that's like when Kenny was here people were saying that Kenny was more valuable to this team than TJ Watt I didn't necessarily agree with that it's like yeah TJ is or, or yeah Kenny is the first round pick he's the quarterback and we want him to be great but we win a lot more games in spite of him versus we winning games without TJ if TJ doesn't do TJ things like we not winning that type of game so I get it because it's quarterback so I definitely do but like I said, that's just for me how I kind of look at it with it. And with Naj, I just think that of all of that, he's been constant. Now, not as sexy as these past two games. I think that that's would have I changed mean. everything if, about him. Yeah, yeah. yeah if, that, if that's been right. the whole season, that's it's, I mean, right. it's a different story for me. Yeah, because I don't think the first any of five weeks dudes, it's been like eh, it's been mm-hmm. like kind of just same old Najee stuff. But see, I would also say in a rebuttal, I think with Justin Fields, his first couple of games outside of no turnovers, or just, meh. I don't know. You did ten, enough. Ten total touchdowns through six games. Ten total touchdowns. How many were running? Let's talk. I know. that That's a part of it, though. It is, but let's talk. If that's what we are saying is the quarterback standard, and we're looking at quarterbacks league-wide, I don't think that what he was doing in those first couple of games was just god beautiful we love it no that's the big reason why with russ did these past two games we look at those and we're like yeah we're not even thinking about going back to phil's i get it but that, i know that's because russ is playing like he's the guy like, right, that's, but that's Phil, a different story but what i'm saying is if phil's played any games like how's russ did these past two games i think it's a different conversation around phil's but we never got that we you even well, said it yourself well, he left the door open i think well yeah he did i think part of it too is and rightfully so i think we handcuffed him a little bit 
And that's fair. We, we didn't run uh, as open of an offense as we are with Russ. And I'm not even saying that's that's a wrong decision yeah, either. I, I guess that, yeah. But I, but I also think that plays into why I would have Fields as MVP because he, he did what he needed to do. He did what the coaching staff asked him to do to win these games, get out of these stadiums with dubs. And when needed, he would elevate and put the offense on his back when we were getting penalties and having a lot of negative yeah. plays. No respect. I thought, yeah, I thought it was really consistent because – Ten yeah. touchdowns in one pick. He, yeah. Hey, man, Over a third I'm not of, it, it, bro. It's a third of the season. He, he was that by balling. Three. That's he was playing 30 well. Thirty touchdowns, a few picks. He was playing. He well. was. He, he, he was playing well. Yeah, there was yeah. some things you wanted him to improve on, and obviously there was a reason why we went with Russ. He left the door open to yeah. to, to that type of conversation of like, could the offense be red, be better if we put in a Russ? And uh, yeah, Tom made his decision. We're at where we're at right now. I mean, respect to it. I mean, this is when you're talking about AVPs of the team, like you're going to be split hairs one way or the other. Yeah. I one think way or the other, you split hairs. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. Najee, Najee's in the conversation. Yeah. 